Hi Pisces, this is Shannon with Apex Tarot and I hope that you're doing fantastic. Thanks for joining for the singles reading for the second half of October, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for your sign. I could be talking to you or your cross watcher and energy flow has a lot to do with your integrity. So uh, take the energies as uh, they come and uh, chunk out what does not resonate with you and check out one of my other videos. Um, you may find something uh, further there that accommodates you. I'm just letting everybody know that I am doing a donation reading. So if you want to email a question to me with your sign and all that kind of stuff at um, Apex Tarot uh, underscore, wait a minute, Apex Tarot underscore a pure spirit at yahoo.com or yahoo.com and uh, give me your question then you can send in a donation with your money order whatever the spirit lays on your heart to send in for that reading that's fine with me i'm just here to be a service it helps you it helps me so anyway with that said let's go ahead and get into you singles second half of october reading by the way, I guess I didn't tell you that you know, after you send in a uh, message to the email, Apex Tarot underscore a pure spirit at yahoo.com, um, your donations can be sent to P.O. Box 25172, Kansas City, Missouri 64119. All that information can be found below in the description box. And uh, there's a video also. Um, for you as well to watch for so for whatever you know just follow the instructions uh, follow the instructions uh, down below and uh, we'll, we'll get you taken care of if you know somebody has a question for a private question or something um, got some stuff you know really popping out here for you all uh, either you are spying on somebody or somebody's spying on you somebody's been conflicted about some things i just seen that on um, Aquarius's uh, reading the two of swords popped out at the very end there I think it was Aquarius um, you could have that in your chart maybe you're dealing with Aquarius maybe not but if somebody's really in their mind about something here so let's just go ahead Pisces and get a uh, Focus here and see what spirit wants you to know for your singles. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, please. Uh, spirit for Pisces, the second half of October. I bind and block all negative, lying, deceptive energy, and I command for the truth to come forth and to be revealed for their highest good. What do they need to understand? What do they need to know? What's the truth about the situation? What do they need to bypass? What's going on with the singles Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for this sign? Thank you, sweet divine. Or people connected to singles with this sign, however that's playing out. Thank you, sweet divine. Been seeing the high priestess come out on a couple of readings, and I, I've, I've done so many videos today. Just go watch your placements. You might get something out of them. All right, so yeah, it does want to be seen. Somebody's really in their head. There could be some deception around you all, or you're just really trying to go within and, and figure out something. Maybe you've just been sitting in confusion with conflicts, trying to gain your balance in a stalemate mode, or somebody around you could be, you know, being that way. Maybe trying to figure out something about being, you know, partnerships and, and whatever. This could be social stuff, family stuff, you know, a lover, that somebody of interest, or they're, or they're doing this to you, or whatever this is. It's showing itself twice here. And uh, really trying to figure something out. You could be dealing with exes. Maybe you've been single for a while. Maybe you're just now being single. Whatever is going on here, there could have been some deception around a situation that has been crossweighed. And uh, people just sitting there, not wanting to look at something. Her eyes are completely uh, shut there. And we've got the Knight of Pentacles. Again, a slow-moving energy. Um, you know, this is something that is serviceable, though. This is the night that you want in a reading. But it also can represent stagnation and being in inertia and idleness. And I have to read it that way because this person just sitting here, not wanting to look at something, got the hands crossed, and it's a stalemate energy. Either that or somebody's finally made a decision and begin to move on and be serviceable, something, you know, is finally arriving this is mr or mrs reliable so uh we got aries uh not aries maybe you're dealing with aries maybe you got that in your chart this could be anyone uh, and normally I, I don't like saying the signs but i've been doing them on these videos um 
uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy. But it could be anyone because everybody has a physical body and everybody has a mind. So, <laughs> and everybody has emotions. And something's obviously been emotional here as well. Uh, we've got the truth here coming right out of heaven and wearing the crown. And this is a breakthrough, um, expressing yourself. Well, finally, if you've been, you know, try, there's three swords here, heartbroken about something, you know, about X issues, X situations, whatever that is. Something came right out of heaven, and um, there's truth being faced right here. Um, new ideas, success and victory, some kind of a judgment. This also conception. All the aces can represent conception. Maybe you've been dealing with a little, maybe you're single and you're pregnant and you didn't know what to do, with it, do, do about a situation or maybe it was a past situation. The moon represents mother, uh, the uh, uh, mother, maybe you're a mother, like I said, single mother or something like that or you're just now pregnant. Um, something, you know, it takes nine months to have a baby and uh, that can be conflicting if you're trying to do it on your own or or maybe you're dealing with a friend that's uh, you know been doing doing that and going through the motions or trying to, i don't know what this is but somebody's conflicted about something but the truth is here it's been moving slow and something's profitable and grounded and this is the um, night that you want here and we've got the nine of cups and i've seen the eight of cups in a couple of readings somebody walking away to get their wish fulfillment which is beautiful because once you make up your mind and face some kind of truth and move forward and that you become uh you know reliable in a situation and getting out of the stalemate you get to sit here in this nine of cups mode and so and you know be happy uh or somebody's just sitting there as a stalemate not moving at all uh, ignoring this truth and just sitting there and drowning their sorrows away and overindulging and it can go either way only you know your story here so let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on for the pisces Somebody's definitely trying to get connected, though, with the intuition. We've got the Wheel of Fortune here, uh, turn, this karmic activity happening here. So here's the deal, uh, Pisces, either you or the cross watcher or whoever I'm talking to. You can't sit here with your eyes closed, crossweighed, and in inertia, never looking at something when the truth is right there to cut something away that's been conflicting and drowning something. Some of you have just been drowning something away and overindulging. And some of you have been sitting here trying to figure out what to do, finally got it. Up and, and begin to move slowly and rebuild something and face the truth and now you've got your nine of cups and a will turn and for some of you this will turn the other direction because you wouldn't make a decision and truth came right out of heaven and gave somebody a wish fulfillment there's uh, definitely some type of wish fulfillment and this also uh, turning the will for luck and truth it represents truth it represents getting the higher mind of something if some of you have been trying to connect like i said with your intuition you finally got the will to turn somehow that's positive energy well the will goes both ways like i said uh, if we're talking law and undercover things this um night is covered up as well for some of you this is law issues uh, going on here, but somebody is very happy and teaching and learning and this is about travel Maybe something happened on a trip uh, in the past cycles of things happen. We got cycles here Somebody heartbroken three swords there knew the truth wouldn't talk about the truth uh, moving slow uh, had profitable things that they knew about and uh, got in a place where they were just overindulging and this, the, the will for some of you just turned anyway and because uh, you can't sit there forever and um, whatever's happening here let's see what's going on yeah somebody just sitting there <laughs> the wheels turning whether you like it or not the wheels gonna turn either way either you're gonna open your eyes and see a cup right out of heaven and the truth coming right out of heaven get over any kind of heartbreak and begin to move even if you got to go slowly and uh, allow the will to turn in a positive way because this is karmic activity happening and uh, whoever been sitting there for a long time thinking that they can just ignore things is not going to happen because this person's also sitting here trying to ignore something that they know the truth is right here they know it the truth is right here there's law for some of you now i know all these energies ain't for everyone but they're to take which energies are applying to you if they are uh, but there's law issues for some of you going on and really big and strong here 
three cards there suggest that, and some, but somebody don't even want to look at it. Somebody don't even want to look to see that there's a heavenly stuff here, and somebody could be around you that could also be in love with you, and you're ignoring it because you're too busy being a stalemate on other issues, uh, whatever that is. Because this, this the Jupiter could represent the husband. Some of you guys went through a separation, and you are single, and now you found somebody who's of interest or looking at you of interest, but for whatever reason, some people could be afraid because there's the moon. The moon can represent being afraid, but there's a cup trying to come right out of heaven, the truth. You know, some people just denying how they really feel about a, a person, and they really are in love, or they really know a situation's right out of heaven, but they don't want to look at it. They, they rather just sit there crossweighed. And, uh, you know, be unforgiving because a cup, uh, the uh, cups can represent, you know, forgiveness as well. It's something also very intuitive going on here. Some, somebody just in disgust at either watching you not make a decision or you're in disgust uh, for whatever reason. The truth is here. The truth is right in front of your face. Nobody's wanting to look at it. What's crossing you? Look, this person's got his face down in this burden. They're making a burden for themselves. Whatever this is, it's over. <laughs> and this is what's uh, in your um, helpful and challenged position. To lay down this burden, whatever you don't want to look at. Whether it being in love or whether it, whatever, getting married or staying single or facing some kind of truth in your past, maybe on a job situation, maybe on a trip for some of you, maybe overindulging the issues, low level energy. And when you know what you know it, that it's coming out of heaven, you've got too many things and this is heavenly as well. There's a higher mind of something and somebody got their, their heart broken and move in as slow as hell and the, the truth right in front of your face nobody wants to look at it and look putting the face down not wanting to look at something that's called passive aggressiveness and stalemateness and this is going to turn whether you like it or not and the cycle has to end because it cannot keep going that way what happened in the past a lot of fighting a lot of fighting in a situation a lot of mental activity in the mind uh, feeling defeated, there's a lot of conflict, uh, you know, needing reconciliation and something, a change occurred to, for the for the worse if somebody just sitting there, not looking at something, the truth is right out of heaven again, uh, still right here in your right now uh, position. If you don't put the burden down, which is going to be helpful for you, you're going to go back another round and you're, and you're going to just, you're going to be, you're just not, this. look at this. Why? What's being? Some people are facing law issues and they know it, and they, they think that they can ignore it away, and they can't. Uh, so the queen, what just happened? The queen cuts is looking towards the past. I have to read it that way because I also look at that it's not for everyone. Some of you are finally getting out of this mode. Some of you are finally opening your eyes and beginning to move slow even after a heartache and going towards your nine of cups and the wheels turning in a very positive way and you're looking at this cup and laying this down. Because of whatever this was, this heartache and stuff was, something refreshing came. Or for some of you, you're still continuing to look in the back in the past and even though you are queen material you're a mother you're a boss you're whatever you're sulking because look at the queen of cups she's she's sad this is somebody in, in mastery this is somebody who can be very manipulative and very childish and very passive aggressive and uh they're, they're just dreaming all the time they can't get out of their own head and for some of you, that is exactly what's going on. For the majority of, of you, this is what, either you're doing this, somebody's doing this to you. Or there's a party of people that's involved in doing this or was involved in something. And law, for some of you, are issue, is an issue. And there's overindulgence. Because in the negative, when the will goes the other way, that is a way overindulgence with Jupiter energy. What's at the top of the mind? So th this just tells me that most of you, you're either watching somebody do this or this is you. Or you're causing somebody to do this or this is you. Uh, this is a lot of air energy, a lot of thoughts, a lot of depression, a lot of despair, a lot of suspension. What's going to happen? My God, what's the delay? I know the truth though. I know the truth. That's hard energy. There's a lot of pain. Some of you all are, are dealing with uh, people who, who literally have pain. 
in their literal body and some people are putting people in you know migraines and stuff like that and causing pain to manifest in that way emotionally within your passions within your mind within the physical body it go, it's all here it, this is heavy energy coming out Pisces very heavy energy coming out I send you love and light because nobody should have to sit there like that nobody and nobody should put somebody in something like that somebody needs help making a decision damn when the truth is right here in front of your face there's a transformation here there's 13 cups there's 17 swords that's I think that's 17 swords that's a healing there is healing here there is truth here there's a higher mind of a situation that can you know uh, alchemize something and be managed because this is this also is temperance somebody needs temperance here so here's the eight of cups walk in the very near future walking away from this stuff that does not serve you and getting this nine of cups whatever that looks like it needs to happen you can't live like this or somebody that in your connection can't live like this you got to put the burden down you can't go on like this you just can't do it that doesn't that doesn't do you no good confusion lies and deceit and tactics and not wanting to look at your burdensome stuff it's obviously in the near future somebody finally going to get the hell up and walk away in a new direction and abandon them cups and that's exactly what you need to do the spirit is saying that's exactly what you need there's the moon again hopefully you're not going to move you're not going to go right back on into the moon What's the concern is the queen of pentacles, money, situations, um, people in high authorities, uh, uh, more mother figures, uh, maybe this is you, maybe both these are you, uh, the concern is being noble, uh, what will people think? Uh, how do I move forward with this pentacle? Obviously somebody's sitting in a place of uh, authority here. This is being business mind. This is being caring. This is financially secure. And, be, and so if, it, it, if it's money, because we do have money here, it's just been taking a long time. This is fortune. If you do the right thing and face the truth, that, that will be fortunate for you. Because fortune starts um, from within. Way before it ever shows up out here on this outside. Fortune is, is within. Like I said, it will manifest itself out here. How are people looking at this as the truth? And the truth being alchemized and the two cups, you know, be, needing, some, needing to be balanced. And some people are looking at it as when you walk away, finally, you're going to be balanced. Because if you walk away here in the near future, people will see it as the ten of cups. Something fulfilling. Something that should have happened a long time ago because somebody's been sitting there as a stalemate. This is heavenly stuff. The truth. We got the Jupiter here and Jupiter here. Spirituality. It takes a, 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 a big person to be able to get up and face the truth. It's to be well respected. That's what the truth represents. Reconciliation. Restoration of things. Traveling into a new place, getting that higher mind of a thing, it's coming out really, really strong here and right here. The truth sets you free. What's the hope? The hope is a transformation, and this is heavens. Things coming to the surface. Uh, this is uh, this is um, the end of a cycle because, like I said, if you don't end it, the heavens come in and end it. And the hopes is having a complete transformation out of something, freedom. Coming to the light, uh, you know, uh, private investigative things also. We, I can't rule that out because the law is really, really big here. And even though this is pentacle, something moving slow, they still are undercover. And it's still the man on the horse. And this is truth. And this is truth. And this is truth. And uh, this is truth here as well. And people seeing it as truth. And people seeing it as being alchemized. But the sun is shining here. Finally. And the sun is shining here, and that is the hope for end of a situation here. And the, and the spirit wants it to be ended. The spirit don't want you to put your head down and not look at something and be in all of this distress here. And be, you know, mentally in anguish. I think for you guys, the 72-hour reading, you all had all this kind of stuff as well, and somebody did not want to look at the truth of a situation. And it needs to be looked at for you to be healed. Because there is an ending here of a cycle. There's a 10 here, a 10 here. The higher 10 is here. 
This is 14. This is a change because that breaks down to a 5. The wheel's turning. Somebody needs help. What is the outcome? A really quick, fast-moving energy. Uh, truth. The truth is coming. It's already here right out of heaven. Now, we've got people on ho these horses here. We've got the death card on a horse as well. This is going to be very much the law coming in extremely fast, extremely quick. Uh, or you're dealing with somebody who is just impatient and just cannot give it up. And they're, they're, they're just a strong character and they're intense. And either they're forthright or they're not. But we have too many cards, people not wanting to look at something. But people are looking at the truth. People are looking at the truth. And, for, and I, man, I'm going to tell you something. And this is really horrible that I'm even saying this. But I'm telling you what's coming through my spirit. Somebody's hoping for a literal death to occur. And that is a bunch of bullshit. I feel it in my spirit. And I'm not afraid to take that myself. And say that's a bunch of bullshit. Uh, for people to do that to another person. And put them in a place of just ignoring. Oh, I'll just get rid of them another way. And I'll pay somebody off. But here's the deal. And I know that's not for everyone. i am just literally just felt that in my spirit. Um, but... If you think you're going to pay somebody undercover to do a dirty thing, it's not going to happen because the truth is out. The heavens are going to uh, allow the truth to come out and to be seen in a very quick way. Because even that knight has his the truth up. And, uh, some, and, and for some people, it's going to put the brakes on something that was trying to happen. Because the heaven's going to move in and make the sun shine. Because it needs to. If you've been in anxiety this bad, somebody needs to help this person. Somebody needs to help this person look at the truth and quit ignoring it. The law is all over this thing for the person that I'm talking to about that death. But the heavenly uh, realms is going to come in and reveal a thing and to release something and, and put a change to something and kill it itself in the way that it needs to go. Because something's being alchemized here. And there is a nine cups here, Pisces, for you or the cross watcher or whoever's involved. What sets people free is, is the truth. And that's overall, that is the message. It's everywhere. What the concern is, is you know, a lot of people do a lot of things for money. And it's just not worth it. It's not worth, you know, if, if money controls you or you got into a situation where money was a concern, you paid somebody off or you said something or I don't know, something was some kind of lies and cheating and stealing and whatever this was, fortune and a lack of fortunate things. The heaven's making it known. Look, you can't do that kind of stuff and put your head down and think you never get away with something like that. I don't care who I'm talking to. I don't care what sign of the zodiac I'm talking to. Truth wins out in the end every single time. You can lay, lay there and sit there and try to ignore it all you want and, and know that something's right out of heaven and pout about it and sit there and sulk all you want. Whoever caused this to this person here, or you caused it to yourself, it's time to get up and face the music and get the hell out of this moat and, and, and get to your Nine of Cups and be fulfilled on the inside. Bottom line, I know that that is a, a you know, a, a really uh, heavy word, but it is the truth. And here comes Jupiter energy again. And it's Cancerian energy getting balanced from within. It's family. It's, uh, you know, vehicle situations. It's the law coming out again. It is spiritual. But it takes self-control and willpower and focus. And, uh, you know, you to uh, manage your emotions, your mind from the heavenly realm. This is the higher mind coming out three times I don't know, maybe you got Sagittarius in your chart or you're dealing with Sagittarius, uh, but it came out three times th really big, really big here. Um, you got everybody here, but you got water I energy here, uh, really big coming out. You got fire right there. You got air coming out really big. You, 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 something something's needs to be done with this situation in a very quick way because heaven's going to come in here and take care of it. One, two, three four 
There's four higher canas that show up. That's having to be stable. The fourth house is um, about the emotions being stable as well. You've got to get out of crossed X issues and face it. Good luck to you, uh, Pisces. I send you love and light. And again, if you want a personal uh, reading for donation, please send your question to apex tarot underscore a pure spirit at yahoo.com. And your money order um, donation to P.O. Box 25172, Kansas City, Missouri 64119. Thank you. Good luck.